Hello and welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. Uh, this video is really about exceptions part two. If you have not seen my video on exceptions, I highly recommend watching it. You can watch it by clicking on this link. In this video, we are going to cover three topics. How to raise standard exception, how to raise a user defined exception, and a finally keyword. So let's begin with how to raise standard exception. Now, you all know that to generally you put your code that you want to protect in try accept block. And if you want to raise an exception within your code, then you will use a raise statement. And to raise a standard exception, you can type in the standard exception name. Now, you can just Google a Python built-in exception to see a list of them. I know that memory error is one of the exceptions. So you can just say memory error here and accept memory error as E print E. When you run this, it will say memory error. So this is how you raise the exception. You, you use the raise keyword followed by the exception class name and the argument in the constructor. Now all of these classes are derived from a generic class called exception. So you can use generic class exception as well. However, it's a recommended practice to use specific exception type. Th this will work but you want to use a specific exception so that you can handle it in an appropriate way. Okay, now how about I want to uh, raise my own user defined exception. I don't want to use this standard exception memory error. Now, the exceptions in Python are actually the instance of classes. So, to define your own exception, you need, you need to define a class. Okay, so I'm going to erase this code or rather I'll just push it down and I'm going to now define my own class for the exception. Now remember, whenever you define your own class for exception, let's say my exception class is accident. You have to derive it from exception based class. Now if you have watched my inheritance video on python this is how you derive a class from another class so accident is derived from exception class okay and we are going to just uh, put something in the constructor saying message message is really your exception message okay and i'll say print exception here I'm just defining a method to print an exception uh, user here you can see user define exception and what do you want to print here the message the exception message is something that you want to print here so you just define uh, a user defined exception class now to raise it you can just say raise accident okay and let's say accident occurred between two class uh, two cars so you will say cra crash between two cars okay and this guy here will be accident e dot print exception when you run this it will print user define exception crash between two cars so uh, now if you remember from our exception original example uh, exceptions are nothing but unusual scenarios that happen uh, when you are executing your code so for example you are driving your car that's like and you don't see your road is clear you don't see anything unusual that is like executing code without exception but one fine day you see an accident and the whole road is blocked so that scenario is called an exception occurred and you need to handle it so handling the 
uh, that particular case is basically taking a detour so that you can eventually reach your destination so in programming also you have to do the same thing if unusual thing happens you need to find a way to handle it and still complete the execution of code so that's why i use the accident example let's say in this try block i was just driving my car and i saw an accident so i will raise accident exception and here i i may just handle it so for example instead of printing i could have done uh, accident.handle and this will be my take so i'll say accident yeah uh, i will just print accident occurred take d2 okay and this will be e dot handle when you run this it is saying that accident occurred when i was driving hence take the d2 if accident didn't occur then you don't need to do it okay one final thing we are going to cover is finally statement now finally is something that people use to do cleanup so for example uh, let's say i have a function which is processing a file i'm just going to copy paste the function to save time on recording this function opens this file and it does some processing with it and then in the code block i have this instruction so imagine you have a huge code block and somewhere you are dividing a number by zero uh, now sometimes you know the co code blocks are bigger so you may not consciously realize that you have a potential of uh, exception happening somewhere in your code so you will just handle the known exception so you know that you are opening the file so you will write uh, an exception handling for file not found error but you may not you let's say you forget to type this in okay and what happens is usually when you're opening a file you will uh, close the file right so you will say okay close the file and when you call this function here now let's see what happens so when i run this uh, it will first open the file and on my computer the file exists so this will work fine but when it comes here it will raise this exception now i'm not handling division by zero exception here that's why it is just abnormally terminating from this point it is not reaching f dot close statement now remember f dot close will close the file and it will do necessary cleanup of file resources so it is very important to do f dot close but in this case it's not happening so how do i handle it so first is first use case is you need to handle basically your division by zero error right okay this will work but this will only work if you know all possible exception that may happen in this code block this code block which is two line here might be thousand line and it's impossible to figure out all the exceptions here so uh, the way to solve this problem is use the finally keyword so what finally will do is first let me show you uh, so i'm going to use this So I'm going to just print that I'm cleaning a file okay when I run this let's check what happens so it still uh, had this exception but watch this cleaning up the file so even if the exception happens in try except block and there is no handling of that exception it will still go into finally and it will clean up the file handle so finally is pretty useful here in this case uh, where basically 
inside your try except block if you want to do some cleanup for example here i'm opening the file so definitely i want to close the file if you want to do that cleanup you can do it in finally and it is ensured that it will execute no matter what okay so that was all about raising exceptions and finally keyword thank you for watching